Hi everyone, in this video I will answer the following question. How much speed I will gain if I install an NVMe M.2 drive in my PC compared to a conventional SSD which is a SATA 3 SSD? Lately I was finding my PC not to be very fast and I wanted something faster but I didn't want to break the bank also. So I searched and I found this Kingston NV1 NVMe drive. So I got this 2TB one for a really good price from Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you care to check it out. And I'll be performing a speed test on this drive compared to my Samsung 860 EVO 1TB SATA drive. So I'll be installing this Kingston in my Dell Inspiron and I'll be performing the speed test. Just before performing the speed test, let me tell you a little bit about the specifications of this drive. So as I said, this is an NVMe 2TB M.2 drive. The form factor I got, it is 2280 and it is rated at 2.1 GB per second sequential read speed and 1.7 GB per second sequential write speed. And it's a PCIe Gen 3 drive. Here's the drive installed now. If you want to see how to install it step by step, I've made a detailed video about this. You can find the link to this video in the description below. The first speed test I will be doing here is Windows boot time. And here I cloned both drives to be the exact same clone. So on the top left of the screen, you have the Kingston NV1 NVMe drive. And on the bottom left of the screen, you have the Samsung 860 EVO SATA drive. And here the NVMe drive has a slight advantage over the SATA drive. And I repeated this test many times to be sure of the results. And each time the NVMe drive won by the same margin you're seeing on the screen, which is about two seconds. By the way, if you're liking this video so far, please comment on it in the comment section below. This will help it with YouTube algorithm. And this way I can answer also all your questions. And also please consider subscribing and putting a thumbs up to this video. Second speed test I'm doing here is copying a large file from the same hard drive to the same hard drive so that the test will be accurate. And copying a large file usually is not very taxing on hard drives, especially on SSD drives. And here you see that the NVMe drive flew through this operation and it performed the operation really, really very fast. Whereas the SATA SSD drive here took almost 19 seconds more than the NVMe drive to copy the same large file, which is 6.24 gigabytes. And this is a huge advantage here for the NVMe drive. The next speed test I'm performing here is copying small files. So here I have 21,413 small files that accounts to 6.19 gigabytes and I'm copying them also from the same hard drive to the same hard drive. And this type of operation is always taxing on any hard drive. And here also the NVMe Kingston NV1 drive was faster than the Samsung SSD SATA drive and it was faster by approximately 21 seconds in this operation. In this next test, and also to mimic real world usage, I'm starting a game called Fortnite. And this game is really a large game on the hard drive. And the NVMe drive here is starting it in 40 seconds, whereas the SATA SSD takes a little bit more. It takes 51 seconds to start this game. And here also the NVMe has a clear advantage. And also I'm testing here a heavy application called Inkscape. And the NVMe drive starts this application in 4 seconds, whereas the SATA SSD drive starts this application in almost 10 seconds, which makes it double the time. The test I'm doing here is a Crystal Disk Mark benchmark. And this test will show the theoretical speed of the drive. And as you notice here, the NVMe Kingston NV1 drive won on all the fronts especially on the sequential read and write fronts and on the other fronts also, but not by a big margin compared to the sequential read and write. Now that you saw all the basic tests that I've done, does this mean that the Kingston NV1 NVMe drive is better in all aspects than the conventional SATA 3 Samsung 860 EVO SSD drive? Well, you're in for a big surprise. Let's perform the following test so that we can find out. So the following test, I'll be copying a very large amount of data, which is 128 gigabytes from my KingDian SSD to the NV1 
Kingston NVMe drive and to the Samsung 860 Evo SATA 3 drive. So here's the operation underway. This test of copying this large amount of data was particularly taxing and very hard on the NVMe drive and it showed its limits. So here we're talking about the Kingston NV1 NVMe drive that hasn't any DRAM cache. So this is maybe the problem here because it doesn't have any DRAM cache. So the drive was dropping speed until sometimes it reached zero bytes per second. So it was like choking and then it was resuming. Whereas copying from the King Dion to the Samsung SATA 3 SSD drive was really smooth and the speed was stable around 450 megabytes per second to 500 megabytes per second. And here even copying to the SATA 3 SSD drive was much faster than copying to the NVMe drive. It was one minute, two seconds faster for this 128 gigabytes amount of data. So imagine if there's more data, how fast it will be. So at the end, what is the conclusion? In my opinion, if you're using your PC like on a regular basis without copying large amounts of data each day, the NVMe Kingston NV1 drive is really very good and is a wise choice because it is not too expensive. But if you're copying large amounts of data on a regular basis, you need to get an NVMe drive maybe with DRAM cache or maybe also if you stay with your SATA 3 SSD drive, it would be also a better choice. So that being said, I have Amazon affiliate links and all drives in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will help my channel greatly. At the end, I want to thank you all for watching. And I hope that this video was useful to you. Until next time, I'm Eloy.